Clone Files Checker is a duplicate file cleaner, which helps you to identify the duplicate files and remove them with one click. This will make your life easy so much. Clone Files is developed by Sourcem Technologies. I am now going to review the software, and show you, how Clone Files Checker makes your life easy. This window is the main window, called Home, wherein all the core elements of Clone Files Checker. It has two tabs, Include to Scan, Exclude from Scan. When you want to start searching the duplicate files, initiate it from this section. Simply find the folder, you want to scan. Add it by clicking on Add button. I will show you how to initiate it. Let's say you do not want to scan a particular subfolder in the folder you selected. Then simply add that folder in, exclude from scan section. So clone file checker will ignore that folder. Now I completed the steps in, step 1. Let's move to the step 2 section, where you filter the search results by the file types. If you want to find all the files, regardless of their file type. Simply select all files. If you want to find files of a particular file type or types, select them by ticking on the custom. Clone Files Checker allows to find documents, archives, music, videos, images. You can also filter the search result further by the file size. Ignore files smaller than filter makes Clone Files Checker to ignore all the files smaller than the specified size. Ignore files larger than filter makes clone files checker to ignore all the files larger than the specified size. When everything is ready, click on, search button to initiate the search. It will show a couple of progress bars, and displays the found duplicate files in the bottom section. The yellow strip shows the statistics of the search result. Duplicate files, label shows the number of duplicate files found by the clones files checker. Groups label shows the number of groups it formed. Wasted space, label shows the space you can recover by cleaning them. Now click on, quick fix to initiate the cleaning process. It will show a couple of windows. You can back up the files before deleting them. You can keep the new files or the old files of the duplicate files, you can save the files instead of deleting them, and this is quite useful for recovering purposes. So you do not have to be scared, if you accidentally delete a file, Clone Files Checker has all the latest features to take care of your issues. Now, that is just a one part of the Clone Files Checker. Let's move to the next section. As you can see in here, when you click on this drop down box, it will show three options. File search, music search, iTunes search. You just saw the steps of the file search. The steps of the music search are same as file search, but it gives more filters to find the music files. You can find those filters in step 2 iTunes search is useful for making searches related to iTunes. If you have an Apple device and iTunes installed in your system, this mode is quite useful. The Clone Files Checker provides a history tab, which allows you to restore the deleted files. But I want to tell you something first, this only works if you backed up the files before deleting. Now, 
Let's move to the settings. This has a lot of impressive options. Let's begin with the first tab. In the first tab, as you can see, there are three algorithm types. CRC32, MD5, SH1. The latest one is SH1, which is also more reliable for finding the duplicate files. It has few more options. Skip temporary files, do not scan recycle bin, skip system folders, skip hidden objects, ignore zero byte files, protect system files. As the names imply, skip temporary files ignores all the temporary files. Do not scan recycle bin, ignores the files in the recycle bin. Skip system folders, ignores the files in the system folders, which is in C Windows, System 32. Skip hidden objects, skips all the files which are not visible. Ignore zero byte files, ignores the files which do not have a size. Protect system files, makes sure all your system files are safe. In the next tab, you can pick the language of the clone files checker. As you can see, clone files checker currently supports English, but we expect to expand it further. You can also specify the folder of the backup folder. The next tab, filter settings. This is quite useful, if you want to specify a custom file type, or a new file type. Let's say you have a new image file, and its extension is BLD. You cannot find that image when you search for duplicate files as it is not mentioned in here, so let's jump into the filter settings and add that file extension. So clone files checker will find it. Advanced settings, section helps you to exclude files globally. Let's say you scan the C drive regularly. And you want the Windows folder to be excluded from all the operations, you can add Windows folder in here, and forget about adding it in each time, when you search for duplicate files. So, that is all about the clone files checker, I hope this review is useful. Thank you.